What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Big day today, very big day. Currently heading to vehicle registration. We're transferring the bore over to the new owner. That's it, the car is sold yesterday, uh, done. The bore wagon chapter is officially coming to a close. It's sad, but we're moving on. What's exciting is once the bore wagon's out of our name, I got an open spot and we can finally get plates for the Jetta VR6 wagon. I have all the paperwork with me, ready to go. I've been waiting so long to drive that car and it's finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally done it. Bore wagon sold, transferred out of our name, and we finally have temp plates for the Jetta wagon. We finally drive the car. It's been over a month that we had that car just waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally have plates. Now, of course, still have to go to an inspection and that kind of stuff, but we'll do that later on. The big thing is we have temp plates. We can drive the car freely for 30 days. It's just been such a long way. Like I said, uh, tomorrow, taking the car to Martin shop, getting started on the timing, the clutch, and that kind of stuff. That way we can get the car through inspection, pass, and then get long plates. Well, not long plates. We're getting a normal standard US size plate for the rear, long plate for the front, but still permanent plates for the car. Man, it's been a long process, but so exciting. We finally got plates for the wagon. We can drive that car on the road, finally. Finally. I honestly can't believe the Bohr wagon's actually gone. Like, kind of sucks. I'm hyped for the VR6 wagon. I am, but like, the Bohr wagon was so good. And now she's gone. What's crazy is though, now at this point, we have three Mark IV we sold that are on base. The green one way back in the day, the green uh, Golf 1.6 SR, and we have Casey's wagon, and then also now my wagon. Craziness, man. So even though the weather sucks today, this car is filthy. So quick wash, and then we'll head home and toss the plates on the wagon. So exciting to say. Oh yeah, these bad boys are filthy. I love these big brakes, but as a result, you have so much brake dust. Good grief. All right, here we go. Get some of this in here. Let that sit for a minute. We're gonna blast it off. She is looking clean. Also, my hands are completely numb, but she's looking clean. Gotta keep her looking good. Granted, as soon as I drive again, it'll be dirty, but the wheels look better and you know, it's cleaner. Also, this place has this cool um, spot-free drying, which actually this one works pretty well. So I'm not gonna drive the car because again, my hands are frozen, not getting them wet, but at least she's looking much better, much better. Oh, my friends. It is finally time. We are tossing some plates on the wagon. Let's go. Dang, whoa, we official now. And also the new templates have black lettering. So the black on black actually looks sick. All right, let's do the front. And then we, we legal boys, we ready to go. I'm probably gonna need some zip ties for this one. Yes. So I went ahead and pulled off the Euro plate holder here. We have the normal big holes that the US like plate holder goes on the front. And we have holes here that were into this one and then holes here, which will look like will fit uh, the US plate, if I'm not mistaken, one and two. Yes, there we go. So I have a US plate plate holder that'll go into this hole and this hole kind of sucks there's holes in it. But when we leave here, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this to a Euro rub strip and then I'll have no more side markers, so it won't even matter. Not the biggest deal. And while we're here, I'll probably get a long plate for the front, which will cover all these holes. So really not a big deal, but at least there's already holes here and I don't have to do any drilling. So that'll go right there and we'll be all set, ready to go. I've got a US plate holder somewhere. 
But what did I do with it? I swear I just saw it like yesterday. Because I don't need that right now, but I'm going to need it. And now I've forgotten where I had just seen it. I hate when I do that. Like, you'll just see something. Like, all right, cool. Remember where that's at? And then it's just gone. Maybe it's over here. I don't know where it's at. I swear I had just... I hate when this happens. Where did it go? Where did you go? It was like over here somewhere. Oh, you fell down. Aha. There we go. US plate holder. You little rascal. Dang, boys. We official official now. Oh, she looks so good. So the plan now, we're actually gonna go for our first actual drive in the VR6 wagon. Gotta go to base, get fuel for the drive tomorrow and also got a package notification. So post office, fuel for the car and just first drive in the wagon. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh yes, I have waited for this for quite a long time, my friends. Quite a long time. Yeah, we need fuel ASAP. Oh yes. She's an absolute beauty. All plated up, ready to hit the streets. Not too shabby. God, we're stopped. This car sounds so good. The 12 valves, man, I tell you, the 12 valves got the best sounds. All right, my friends, this is it. Our maiden voyage in the VR6 wagon. And I feel right at home. I feel right at home. I got all this space behind me, plus that god awful tent, which come off, but still, I feel right at home in this thing. All right, so we've completed our first 400 feet. Car feels great. Stock suspension is comfy. Not as comfy as the Bora wagon because that car is on those big balloon tires, but she comfy. She feels good. A little exhaust note back there. We're in the Ooh, she sounds good. I mean, you hear that or not? That little sound. Put it into third gear here. Transmission feels like butter. Clutch feels great. Putting a new one still, but while we're there, might as well just change it. But it feels good right now. Oh, this thing feels good. Now we are doing the timing, so I'm not gonna like be on the car, but the actually, like we're on the road now. Dude, this car feels so smooth, dude. There's not a vibration, there's not a rattle. Look at this, straight down the road, there's like no sound, there's no vibrations, there's no shakes, there's no rattles, which for a Mark IV is rare, because everything rattles in a Mark IV usually, but this thing feels so good. Trans feels great, clutch feels great, uh, no like stuttering or hiccups with the gas, everything feels really good in this car. <sighs> I've waited for this moment for so long, and it's everything I wanted. It feels so good to be in this thing, man. It feels so good, clean dash, no lights, I'm a happy camper. I'm really happy we found this car, we got this thing. I'm just happy. One thing I will say that doesn't feel great on the car, which you already knew, the brakes don't feel, they don't feel great. They're, uh, they kind of like, you can feel it kind of grinding because you saw the pads, so the rotors, uh, they had a bunch of corrosion on them. I'm hoping though as they break more, it'll kind of clean up a little bit. We're still replacing them, but for the meantime, uh, if they get better, that would be awesome. But other than that, the car feels great. Such good tones and it's stock and it sounds so good. I love this thing, man. I love this thing. All right, so I'm not gonna rip it, but I'm gonna give it a nice little, just like go through the gears a little bit, and hopefully you can hear it in the back. It sounds so good. All right, we're in second gear. Only going to about 4,000 RPM. Oh, it sounds so good. And it pulls nice. I love this thing, dude. It drives so nice. No shake, no rattle. Just straight down the road. Feels good. Everything I wanted. Everything I wanted. So I said already, but I'm going to say it again. This tent has got to go. I cannot see out of this back window. It's peeling over there. It's just too dark. I'm a fan of the fishbowl look. No tint. That's just my style. Um, I like the visibility. I'd be able to see. What are you doing? What What are you doing? What? Are, why? Why? Okay. Yeah. No. No problem. It's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm trying to wreck my wagon first day out. 
unbelievable. All right, so if we take a look in the back of the car, we have a box there. That one's a poster, and that one over there is a very, very nice gift for the uh, the pink floats I'm showing you at home. But now, gas station stop, first fill up for the wagon. All right, boys, it's that time. Get that first fill up. Gotta remember, mine's on the door now, versus being in the middle like the uh, the European cars. They got me over here in this uh, this dark spot. I got no lights over here. What's happening? Bam! Grab this. Drink up for the wagon. Drink up. Not bad. All right, 43.66 liters later, she is full and ready to go. So, it is. We've got ourselves a nice full tank in the wagon. I'm curious to see the kind of fuel economy we'll get out of this car compared to like the Bora 1.6. Out of that car, I think I got almost 700 kilometers out of one tank of fuel. So we'll see how the uh, VR6 compares. But we are currently at the good old hobby shop. Since I'm on base and I haven't been into this car really yet, I'm gonna sit down in the open bays, pull the car in and get up out of the car and just check around a little bit. All right, got us good old bay number two. First day of driving, the wagon's already going in the shop. All right, my friends, what do we have going on under here? That springs a little bit crashed. Are there two? Are there two there? Wait, what is that? There's a spring, which is this one, but there's like a helper spring. I'm confused as what that is. This one doesn't have that. What is that? It's like a double spring. I'm not crazy, right? There's this one here on the outside that goes, which is this one. And there's this one on the inside, which is that one. You can see where it stops right here. I have no idea what, I mean, the car rides great, but I don't know what that is. But thankfully we have KWs. That'll go away. This will go away, not a big deal. Brakes will go away. Rear beam, little surface rust. We have some trim paint down here, fix that up. This looks good. Fuel filter, got into one of those. That's not a big deal. Lines look okay. A little brace in the middle. The standard little crusty surface rust stuff. Rails look to be in amazing shape, which is awesome. Love to see that. Sensors, oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm assuming this was rattling and they just said, or the, the welds right here broke where it holds it on, and they just said, clamp. Which I guess, I don't know if that'll pass inspection. I don't know about that. It might. I mean, it's secured and solid, but I don't know if that'll pass inspection. Standard rusty clamp stuff is the usual. Subframe's looking a little crusty. I might go to the junkyard and pull out a complete new one and get me a more fresh one than this. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but got some corrosion on it. Uh, these will be new, not a big deal. All that'll be new, brakes will be new. Not concerned with any of that kind of stuff. Under here, a little bit of oil residue on the front side through here. But it seems to be coming from maybe the gasket through here. I'll we'll have to go through some brake cleaner, do some cleaning and see what actually is leaking. But we'll have this off very, very soon. So I'm gonna go through and see what's all going on. It could just be the rear main seal, which we're replacing anyway. So that's not really a big deal. So I didn't really plan on working on this car today, but I went through some brake cleaner and just kind of sprayed everything off. And now she's looking nice and clean. Honestly, there's a lot of like caked on like corrosion, like caked on like dirt, but it comes right off. You can see up there, I sprayed this section, but I didn't hit way up there yet where it's still kind of like black, but all of it comes right off. Like even like the mount here, like all this looks very, very new, which is surprising. So all the spot was dirty came right off, which is good. But still go through, rear main seal, timing, all, all the maintenance stuff. But it's looking like she was just dirty. And we've got ourselves a really nice VR6 here, which is what I was hoping for, which is good. Still had a lot of cleaning to do on the block and stuff like up there, but I don't think it was leaking through here. Am I just been from like this leaking from my like old changes and the rear main seal possibly and getting kind of blown around down here. But like even looking like way over here in the corners, 
It's clean. I didn't really spray much over here, just like this section where it was kind of like the residue was. But she's looking good. I'm feeling good about this one. Axle boots are in good shape, which is nice. I said all the rest of the stuff like this, the ball joints, the brakes, is all stuff we're already replacing. I'll probably get a new subframe and just get this one out of here because it's kind of crusty. And then this back here, I'm pretty sure I'll fail inspection for this. I'm pretty sure this like second spring inside here is to help like support this one. But I don't think I'll pass inspection with this set of unless maybe I will. I don't know. I said the car rides fine right now. You would never know this was back here, but uh, we'll see what it does with inspection. If not, we'll put the KWs on and call it a day. But other than that, the car's not looking bad. She's got her normal wear, 120,000 miles, but all this kind of stuff is all gonna replace. So I'm not really worried about it. She runs good, drives good. So I think we're gonna go. Also, that radiator looks new. Look at that. See how shiny that is up there? Either super well taken care of or that's new, which it might be. All I said, this mount looks new because like this paint is also fresh. Once we pull this trans off, we'll see the condition of the clutch and that kind of stuff, but I think we're in pretty good shape here. Oh, she looking good. She be looking good. And I gotta say, after seeing the other side of this car, I'm feeling pretty good about it. She needs a few things, but that's every car. Um, after I wiped it all down, everything looked very, very clean and actually pretty new, which is surprising. Uh, rear spring's kind of weird, but we'll change it out, not a big deal. I'm feeling pretty good about the old girl here. All right, first little tunnel pass. <laughs> oh, she sounds good. And it's stock, dude, and it sounds incredible. All right, we're gonna do one more here. We'll do a little two, three on this one. This car sounds so good. away for stock this thing has a great sound this is fourth gear kind of rolling into it like listen it's such a good sound hopefully you can hear that but it sounds good honestly kind of surprised at how smooth this car is like there's no rattles or no weird shakes there's like nothing it's just smooth the whole way i mean that's how cars should be but like Normally in an older car, you've got little vibrations here and there, things in the dash rattle, the door cars rattle, something, but this thing's just like, it's so solid, and I love it. The stock feel of it, and it just sounds so good. It sounds so good. Again, hopefully you can hear that, but... Just that wookie noise going on. Woo! I love it! And done so first run in the wagon done and this thing everything i could have wanted it drove perfectly like, i literally didn't miss a beat uh the clutch felt great every gear change was spot on the car rode smooth there's no rattles no shakes i mean dude this car feels perfect some things to change and sort out not a big deal um but overall i mean this thing is awesome everything i could have wanted it is i love it all right, my friends, final bits of the night opening. Some boxes plus Mountain Dew. Can't, whew, you can't go wrong. Cheers with Mountain Dew. It's just the best. Ah, it's just the best, aside from sweet tea. So let's do this one first because this one is exciting. So in this box, this is from, where's the name at? This is from, if I can find the name. Oh, this is from Archie Mayday. The guys over there. Thank you, guys. I forgot all about this. So I thought this was a different poster, but this is, ooh, this is exciting. What do we got in here? I'm sure what they even sent. I can't remember what it was, but I'm excited. Ooh, we got, oh, we have like five posters. One, two, four posters. Let's go. Six posters. Hooking me up. If you aren't already, follow Mark Two Mayday. They got a lot of really nice shirts, which I don't have any down here, but nice clothing, super nice guys, a lot of beautiful Mark Twos. And we got one, two, three, five posters here. I just actually cleaned up the table, you can see. I put my whole stack over to here and try to clean up the table a little bit, but now we're about to have 
a whole new stack of posters. So we'll do this little one first. This is awesome. I love posters. No frames, but a lot of posters. Our first one, what's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? This is all from their show, I believe. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. So the plate on there is the date of the show. Look at that. In Lebanon, New Jersey. Very, very nice rally. Uh, golf too. Love that. All right, so that is poster number one. Now we got a big stack. Good grief. What's happening here? There we go. All right, we got four posters to go through. Woo, look at the first one. That is sick. Mark two on the bottom. Jamie Orr's Mark eight. The BBS is out on top. I saw both of these cars in Helen. Oh, that's sick. So actually, we have the Mark eight poster now. Look at that. We've got the Mark 8 poster right here. Dang, that's sick. That is so cool. Again, Lebanon, New Jersey. This is from their official Mark 2 Mayday show. And you got the Mark 2 GTI and the Mark 8. Dang, that is a sick poster. I like that a lot. All right, what do we have for poster number two? This one, I believe, is the same. Same one there. And then poster number three. Oh, same. And same. Okay, so nice. So I got four of this poster now. So if you got any cool ones that I don't have, I now have three to possibly trade for something cool. I said, I need the Mark one still, and I need the Mark six as well. And there's a couple other ones I don't have. There's an Arteon one. I believe there's another golf three one somewhere. There's a handful I don't have. There's a red Corrado as well. So there's a few that I don't have. If you guys have cool posters, uh, like the Volkswagen show ones you want to trade, I got three to, uh, to bargain with. So let me know. But again, big thank you to guys at Mark two Mayday. Uh, this poster is so, so cool. Plus, they got me the show poster from their show, which again, so, so cool. So again, thank you to them. Uh, big shout out as you guys follow them. Tons of beautiful cars. So now, with our poster check out of the way, we do like poster checks like every week. It's awesome. We've got a box here and this box, my friends. This is from Matt over at Eurocraft. If you know what he does, he does wiring. This right here is the wiring harness for the Pink Floyd for the 1AT. We're making moves. We are getting there slowly, but surely we're getting there. All right, my friends, here we go. ta -da! We have a harness to go from the Mark III fuse box to the Mark IV 1.8T, all done by the homie Matt or your craft. Make sure you check them out. The stickers, we got stickers, let's go. Again, big shout out to Matt, always hooking up, did all the wiring for the VR5, and that car, you guys know, runs flawlessly. Mark IV engine to Mark III fuse box, no anything needed, just plug it in and you're good to go. The man is a wiring genius. Got our ECU back, oh, that's cracked already, good to go, no immobilizer, and look at this. Just nicely wrapped, all of our harnesses and our plug, just so nicely done. So again, massive thank you to Matt or your craft. Uh, make sure you guys check him out for all your wiring needs. He does amazing work. For pretty much any swap you need, uh, I'm sure you can do. Got a black sticker and we got the white sticker. So again, thank you, Matt. This is awesome. One step closer to putting the 1.8T into the Pink Floyd. Yo, no lie, big day today. Very big day today. Shout out to the new owner. Bore wagon is gone. We got plates in the VR6 wagon. The car drives so good. We have a heart for the Pink Floyd and some new posters. Not a bad day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.